Today we will be showing you how to update your Mate 3 to the Optics RE from Outback Power. Before installing Optics RE in your Mate 3, we must make sure your current firmware is 002.009.000 or higher. To check this, go to your Mate 3, then press the lock button. Enter your user password of 141. Settings, System, then Firmware Versions. At the very top, check your current version. If it has an earlier version, then 002.009.000, then we need to update it before you begin installing Optics RE. Connect the Mate 3 to your wired or wireless network. Remove the SD card from your Mate 3. Insert the SD card to your computer or card reader. To avoid any permanent damage to your Mate 3, you want to reformat and erase all existing files on the SD card before you copy the Optics RE files. You may want to copy any wanted files to another location in your computer. On a Mac, go to your Disk Utility app. then click on the Erase tab. Under the Format drop-down menu, click FAT and click Erase. Open your browser and go to www.outbackpower.com forward slash optics RE. Enter your serial number to qualify. Open your downloaded files. Right click and extract all. Open your extracted folder, select all and copy all. Open your removable drive or SD card, then paste the files. Close the windows and right click on the removable drive and click on eject. Remove the SD card from the computer. Insert the SD card into the Mate 3 with the pins facing you. Press the lock button. Increase your password to 141. Go to the firmware update. Select Mate 3. The new Optics RE firmware should show up. Press update. Copying files. Updating main processor. The mate will reset and return to the home screen. Allow an additional 20 seconds for the second phase of the update to begin. During this time, it is important not to unplug your Mate 3. The Mate 3 will return to the home screen once it's completed. You have now successfully updated the new Optics RE firmware. Press the port button to verify the update. In the upper right corner, you should now see Optics RE. If it says connecting, we need to enable the DHCP. Press the port button again, then press lock. Enter user password of 141. Settings, System, scroll down to Ethernet addresses. Press the center button and change the DHCP to Enable. Press the port key. You should now see Optics RE connected. Now you can create your own account in the Optics RE Cloud. Go to www.opticsre.com and click on Create Account. Enter your name, choose a username, email address, and password. Enter the security code agree to Terms of Service, and click on Create.
Now you can check your email. You will need to confirm your email before your account is activated. Once you click on the confirm email address, it will take you to another web page where you can confirm. You can now enter your username and password to sign into the cloud. Once logged in, you may now create your profile. Click on the Launch the Profile Setup. You will now need to verify your MAC address. Press the Port key. Copy your MAC address that appears on the bottom of the screen. Enter the MAC address you grabbed from the Mate 3 and enter the security text. Press Verify. Once verified, you may now personalize your profile. Enter your profile name, contact, mailing address, and press continue. On the next screen, enter your site name and type, site location, date, and time. Enter your idle ping interval depending on the data use desired. Press continue. On the next screen, enter a new system name and press continue. On the next screen, enter your total PV array size to scale the bar graph and confirm found devices. Press Save and Finish. Congratulations! You now have Optics RE online.